Well, well, good morning, everybody. Today we're going to be doing the translation of the third informational uh, video from the government uh, regarding how uh, the president is doing. Uh, he said he would let us know in September how he was doing. So today's the day, and here it goes. They invite you to take your seat. They invite you to take your seat. This is the third presentation of the president, Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador. First informational. Uh, wow. That's interesting. Looks like a book. Wow. He gets to sit down. Yay. So today, the Supreme Court Justice is going to accompany us. And we are also being accompanied by uh, governors from the state of Mexico, Represent representatives of um, the news media. You're all welcome. So we're going to listen to the message from the President, Licenciado Andrés Manuel López Obrador. I am not going to read the whole thing. My friends, I am very happy that you accompany us in this act to render information to the people of Mexico, to all the Mexicans. I appreciate the presence of the representatives of the power of the legislative and the presidents of the governors, the presence of public servants, the presence of businessmen, workers, field workers, representatives from organizations, social organizations, civil organizations of our country. My friends, all of you, when I took position of the uh, Presidency of the Republic on the 1st of December, nine months ago in December, I said I took the um, commitment of uh, uh, representing the Mexicans so that together we can take forth the fourth transformation of the public life of Mexico. This informational allows us or permits us to explain how we have ex been executing the politics for the transformation 
that has begun to com- be converted into into a reality in practice. It is now an actual act. The separation of economic powers and political powers. The actual government represents everyone, the rich and the poor, to believers and free thinkers, just as all the Mexicans, men and women, at the margin of ideologies, sexual orientation, cultures, idioms or languages or places of origin, educational levels, or socio-economic positions. There actually exists a natural state of right or correctness. And we want to convert in general practice of, of our liberals of the 2019 year that sustain to the margin of the law, nothing above the law and no one above the law. With the decision that explicit and that the public, um, that the executive power does not intervene as it was the custom. When it comes to the powers of legislative uh, powers, nor judicial powers, it respects the attributions and jurisdictions of the state and municipal um, areas. It does not interfere with the decisions of autonomous organizations like the Attorney General of the Republic, the Bank of Mexico, electoral authorities, and the National Commission of Human Rights. And it abstains from interfering in the internal life of syndicates or unions and political parties. Additionally, we are moving forward to a true democracy. Within these six years, it will end. The very shameful tradition of electoral frauds. Elections will be free and clean. And that one that utilizes 
private or um, public resources to purchase votes and to traffic with the poverty of the people or that one that um, destines the budget of the people to favor a candidate or a party will go to jail without any right to a uh, bail or bond. In the same way, in order to correct inefficiencies and bad practices that are being exercised in the government agencies, we consider it necessary to establish the mechanism to revoke mandate in an effective control of the govern uh, of the um, mandated officials Sobre los mandatarios y representantes. over the um, people in charge and their representatives. As a consequence, Espero que en el periodo ordinario de sesiones que hoy inicia, I expect that in the ordinary or routine sessions that are today um, initiated, el Congreso apruebe that the Congress approve forma the constitutional form that I have proposed in this material. I exhort respectfully the power, the legislative power, to eliminate the uh, legal tr entrapments for the application del de la popular, of, for the method of popular consult y que el fuero, and that it cancel the outing a públicos, of uh, public servants por el fuero al presidente de la república which will start with the president uh, of the republic el gobierno federal the federal government pone por encima puts above all el respeto a las libertades the respect to liberties Por sobre las prohibiciones, which is above prohibitions, impulsa los comportamientos éticos, and it encourages ethical behaviors, y no las sanciones, and not sanctions, y respeta escrupulosamente la libertad, and it scrupulously respects liberty of election de todos los ciudadanos, of all its citizens en todos los aspectos, in all its aspects en posturas políticas e ideológicas, in political and ideological postures en creencias religiosas, in religious beliefs y en preferencias sexuales and in religious preferences. El federal ofrece cooperación. The executive, uh, the federal executive requires um, cooperation, Amistad y respeto para uh, friendship and respect for all Todos los países del mundo. 
towards all of the countries of the world. Y particularmente para las naciones hermanas. And particularly for the nations that are brothers de América Latina. of Latin America y el Caribe. and the Caribbean. Such alignments son especialmente evidentes are especially evident en el caso de las naciones centroamericanas in the case of the Central American nations a las que nos unen estrechos vínculos for which we have um, a lengthy strip of land that adjoins us Por as a neighborhood, Cultura. culture, e and shared history. Asimismo, In that same way, hemos que la we've um, been cautious that the unat unilateral relations Con Unidos with the United States se con be conducted with based on res uh, mutual respect la para el the cooperation for the development y la and for the negotiated solution a to common problems, Entre los cuales los más significativos of which the most significant son sin duda are without a doubt los fenómenos migratorios the migratory phenomena from south to north. The adverse situations which are confronted by millions of Mexicans that live in the neighboring country and the expressions of of the delinquency that is uh, between the nations that is to say the trafficking of people the, the trafficking of drunk uh, of guns or firearms illicit drugs and divisive things. El actual federal, the actual federal government a los mexicanos, defends the Mexicans en Unidos, con in the United States with a la with respect to the sovereignty del país vecino, of the neighbor country. Y con todos los instrumentos legales and with all the legal instruments that are within its reach. The principle of these is is the web of consulates that are now operating as defenses of the migrants that are within the uh, area of international um, immigration and uh, within their own laws and the United States laws to, to the end to prevent or remedy 
the violations to the rights of the Mexicans in the neighbor nation. We express here again our condolences for the family of the victims of the collective assassination in El Paso, Texas. We reiterate our condemnation of that hate crime that was motivated by, by racism and xenophobia. And we reiterate and that we demand that they apply the most severe punishment the most um, um, crime uh, for this person that was responsible for this most abominable crime. Via the negotiation and the uh, dialogue and frank dialogue, we are looking for so we wish to uh, have interaction with the United States and the triangle that is in Central America, Honduras and El Salvador, in the construction of mechanisms that that will reactivate uh, the economic uh, situation there. Well-being and uh, development and to deactivate the migrational phenomenon. The final purpose of this politics is to gain that all the people are able to are able to work, study, and have health and well-being in their homes, in the homes that they were born or that they reside in, that they do not find themselves forced to, to abandon due to hunger or violence and that they only migrate those that wish to do it voluntarily and not due to necessity. In this way, we will better with this politics in the month of June last the threat of placing tariffs and a possible crisis economical and political via a migrant uh, agreement that obligates us to be more strict in the law of that material.
in the application of that material Sin violar. without violating Derechos humanos. human rights y rescatando and rescuing nuestro favor in our favor the recognition de que se este that we will attend to this matter junto, sin usar la fuerza, without the use of force y la coerción, sino creando, or coercion but instead creating oportunidades de trabajo, opportunities for work y bienestar, and well-being para la gente en sus lugares, for the people in their places de origen. of origin. Se está en práctica, We are putting into practice the forgotten mandate, constitucional, constitutional mandate, según el cual, el, via which el Estado tiene la responsabilidad The state has the responsibility de y to promote and to el and to cause the development Economico, national, and uh, national economical, um, I guess, growth. And there still exists the idea that's a fallacy that the state should not promote development and neither to redistribute the district, not neither to redistribute uh, the incoming. Um, Uh, monies, Sino but instead to limit itself a crear las que a los that would uh, create the conditions would permit the investors hacer to do business y and to assume que los that the benefits se would be spread out automatically Al resto de la to the rest of the society. Esta This supposition se that was revealed revealed itself to be absolutely false during the neoliberal period. The same idea se was applied during the Porfirio period, and it caused a revolution, mayor, and, that, and that was the greatest or the largest uh, teaching of that type of thinking, Porfirista. which is called Porfirista. That they bet on the um, progress without Justicia without justice es is politically unviable y está al and is condemned to failure. Su falla de origen, It's original failure consisted in stopping that the simple accumulation of riches without attempting to redistribute the wealth produces inequality and grave social conflicts. La de 
the essence of our um, social political um, plan consists of honesty and austerity in forma de vida y de in as a way of life and and a way for the government. Es un hecho it's a demon, demonstrable act. Que la de se that the crisis of Mexico originated por el del due to the failure of the neoliberal economical model. That was applied in the last 36 years. Y también, and also, por el en este periodo, due to the pre dominion during this period de la más of the most, what's the word? It's like the worst possible corruption. Publica public and private. In other words, the way we've reiterated for many years, nothing has damaged Mexico more than the dishonesty of the governing bodies. And that is the primal cause or principle of inequality, socioeconomical, and of the insecurity and the violence of which we are subjected. Por eso, si me piden so therefore, if they ask me en una frase, to express in one phrase, ¿cuál es el plan? what is your plan el nuevo gobierno, respondo. or of the new government, I respond to end corruption y con la and impunity. En este objetivo, In this objective, we have advanced ejemplo, a lot. For example, when I came to the government, we, be, we, bang, began, we began to fight uh, the problem of a stolen gas, which was colloquially called guachicol. This illicit act per, um, is done by perforating ducts and, and to install uh, lines, clandestine lines, which will take large quantities of combustibles. And there was thousands of those clandestine lines to such an extent that this illicit act became a very juicy business for delinquents and functional officials. In November last year, they were stealing 80,000 barrels daily, equivalent to 800 cars tanks. 
the equivalent of 800 tanker trucks per day. In 2018, the quantity of stolen combustibles to the petroleum um, company signified a loss of of 60,000 million pesos. Pero nadie hacía nada. But nobody did anything about it Por to prevent it. Por el On the contrary, en los anteriores, in the six-year terms previously, la Secretaría de Hacienda, the Secretary of Hacienda lo veía como algo normal. looked at it as something normal. Y de antemano, and anticipated he would deduct it from the uh, accountability de la of the public accounting. Nos tocó decir, va. And we had to say Hasta. that's enough. No fue fácil. It was not easy. Because the uh, groups that were stealing made ruptures, premeditated, to make there be a shortage of gasoline to a great or significant part of the country. But even with those sabotages, with the support of the people that resisted the scarcity of gasoline for three whole weeks and with the active participation of the armed forces we have almost been able to eliminate this activity, Delictive. delinquent activity. And I add to this that part of the activities to end Guachicol in one of the first national strategies for peace we encouraged the development and well-being between the needy people that was being used as a crutch and protection by the uh, gas-thieving uh, gangs and what they would do in exchange was allow them to take from some of the uh, uh, lines that they had placed Un bidón de 20 litros de gasoline. and they could each take 20 liters of gasoline. Mucho. It is lamentable that at the time when they were applying that plan este ilícito, against this illicit act, la en el de there occurred a explosion in the municipality of Hidalgo, the Talaguanilpan Hidalgo, donde la de una toma where the operation of a clandestine line gas line caused the explosion and the fire of a channel or ditch 
that took the life of 137 people and it caused lesions and scars to dozens more. And with all this pain and costs, I can tell you today and inform you today that the theft of combustibles has been reduced to 94%. And that will allow us to recover 50, and that will allow us to recover 50,000 million pesos this year. And I am also taking this opportunity to, este mensaje, to give you this message. Para poner, to expose que that during the se la de that the during due to his decree, presidential uh, decree, they canceled the condoning of taxes to large corporations, uh, businesses, and uh, financial uh, institutions. We have to apply the law evenly. You can't have guachicol above and you can't have guachicol below. This offensive privilege of condoning taxes meant that great large corporations and banks were not paying any taxes. And they did this with the president's approval who utilized that function at their discretion to condone debts. Only in the last two six-year terms, 108 large contributors benefited with condoning to the tune of 213,000 million pesos. In that same way, we have proposed to the Congress that the expedition and use of false documentation or receipts in order to evade taxes became a grave crime. And according to the legal statutes, the federal government has concentra concentrated its function and duties and they have already 
reoriented or redirected the money uh, that's coming in to programs that are truly significant and of high social impact and economical. The purchases of the government, which are the equivalent of this year, this year will be one billion pesos, and they are done in this way, in a consolidated way, and under the coordination of the official secretary of Hacienda and uh, credit, public credit. Within these first nine months, we have re, uh, gained the savings to the amount of 145,000 million pesos. Los lujos, the luxuries, los la, the expenditures, que el and the opulence that characterized the exercising government de poder and power and presidency han a su fin. have come to an end. El actual, the actual government now has eliminated the uh, benefits and uh, extra money they were getting, that the uh, functioning officials were enjoying at high level officials. In the executive federal level, and functioning officials that were earning up to 700,000 pesos a month. In addition, we put an end to the contracting of generalized and indiscriminate of uh, people that um, were known um, to other people. De to the assignment abusively of offices, Vehiculos, vehicles, de communication, communications equipment, mobile equipment, Aviation, Por ejemplo, for example, se cerraron 51 representaciones que existían en las principales ciudades del mundo. They closed 51 units that were uh, in uh, the principal areas of the world. Llamadas Pro México. They were called Pro México. that were supposedly dedicated to the promotion of the country. Algo hasta that was even ridiculous. En parte because nowhere in the world pro do they have offices pro-Germany, Pro Canada, Pro France, etc., etc. 
etc., etc. In the same way, we canceled the millionaire pensions to the ex-presidents. We eliminated the payment uh, with charges to the worker. De seguros para gasto médico. For the charges of medical expenses. Es decir, atención médica privada. That is to say, private medical attention. Para los altos funcionarios públicos. That was only for high functioning officials. that was costing the people 6,000 million pesos a year. Se la caja de we also eliminated that special treasury of money Para altos for high-functioning officials. Que Financing it meant taking money in the amount of 5,000 million pesos a year. We suppressed the travels that were senseless to foreign countries. And we, re we reduced by 50% the, the uh, expense of publicity for the government. Los de las de Only the uh, people that have titles in the secretary area and subsecretaries de nivel de and only uh, officials with that level of um, uh, government can have vehicles chauffeur. with a chauffeur. Y solo se a and you only give escorts to those functioning officials que por la that due to the nature of their job de de that require safety measures. So they had a group that was called Estado Mayor Presidencia, Presidencial uh, that was assigned to as a protective detail for the president que con 8, that had 8,000 elements, which means units, which means people, los cuales más que los soldados, que los marinos, and these people earned more than the marines, the soldiers, que los policías, and more than the police. Y and they had better benefits. Pues bien, esta well, that institution maintained, por décadas, that was maintained for decades, disappeared now. Parte, and, their, and the people that were in that position passed on to integrate the Secretary of Defense. Parte, ellos, and many of them are now part of the of the newly created National Guard. Ahora van a al pueblo, al and now they are going to be taking care of the people and the people will take care of the President. Presidente, lo cuida la gente. 
y el que lucha por la justicia no tiene nada que temer. And he who fights for justice has nothing to fear. The power executive have, um, have um, um, been prohibited from traveling in private and uh, helicopters and airplanes. That was the top of the abuse that they they would even use the helicopters to go play golf. Eso se This has come to an end. El avión And the presidential airplane is for sale. Y otras And other aircraft. 71 aviones y helicópteros 71 airplanes and helicopters that were at the um, being used by the high level functioning officials. Our austerity, so that it is clear, is inspired by en el criterio del presidente Juárez. By the criterion of President Juárez. Que decía. They used to say. Leo textualmente. And I read it textually. Bajo el sistema federativo. Under the federal um, system. Los funcionarios públicos. The um, officials that function publicly or public officials. No pueden disponer cannot dispose of de las rentas sin responsabilidad of the rents without responsibility no pueden gobernar a impulsos they cannot govern or force de una voluntad caprichosa of a, of a um, voluntary or uh, like we're to to what they want to do, um, just because they want to. Sino con a las leyes. But instead, they have to adhere to the laws. No pueden improvisar. They cannot improvise. Fortunas, ni entregarse al ocio. And they cannot improvise fortunes or turn themselves over to the use and the dissipation, but instead to consecrate sí. to, um, to their work a vivir and resigning themselves to live en la in the onerous median que la retribución that is proportioned by the retribution que la ley haya señalado. that the law has signaled. Otro elemento básico. Another basic element de nuestra política of our politics es hacer un lado to set aside a little at a time and to 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 do away with the technocratic obsession to measure everything by the function of simple economic growth We consider que lo no es lo that the fundamental is not the quantitative, sino la del 
being that there would be the distribution uh, of things and of riches. The last final thing of a good of a good government is to gain the happiness of the people. The economic growth and the increases in productivity and of competition do not have a sense as to their objectives in themselves, but as a medium to gain an, a superior objective in general well-being of the population. And precisely, even more, the well-being financially or materially and the well-being of the soul. The new productive politics that we are taking into pro, uh, principle uh, pertains of de cuatro acciones fundamentales. of four fundamental actions. Fortalecer la economía popular. To strengthen the popular economy. Impulsar proyectos para el desarrollo regional to encourage projects for the uh, regional um, gains. Fomentar la participación de la iniciativa privada. To encourage the uh, investment of private industry. Y promover and to move la intensificación or in the intensifying uh, the intense increase of foreign and uh, investment and the capture of de la of foreign investment en al de la popular, regarding the strengthening of the popular economy it has been fundamental to consider as a priority the recovery of the of the fields to to promote the rural development means to to change the conditions of life of the working field workers and to strengthen the productive actions which in turn forms part of of the large problems of society and national. It should be considered the campus and it is much more than lands for the production of uh, plants and trees. It, it has a uh, diverse conjunct of patrimonies that are territorial of strategical importance and potential for the country. It's, 
it has to do with lands, waters, costs, uh, the uh, coastal ways, the universities, genetic resources, minerals, traditional knowledges, natural beauties, active uh, actions of history and cultural. They are resources that are extremely valuable. And if we think not only in the material, but in the field, there still exists a form of life that is healthy, full of values, moral and spiritual, to return to the country means to fortify an identity that's cultural of the highest quality in humanity. In a punctual way, I explain that this is what we're doing. We gave a um, financial assistance in order to plant 1,500,000 uh, growers and uh, small community uh, workers. And this includes in, uh, people from uh, indigenous communities and the cultivators of cane and coffee. And we protect against tariffs that are unjust. Of agricultural workers. That devote themselves to producing cultivations for exportation that are of a dense economical quality and commercial. And this is demonstrated by the recent intervention that was demonstrated by the government in favor for the exporters of tomato to the United States. We gave 147,000 tons of fertilizer free to 270,000 producers of the state of Guerrero. And we are being cautious to increase the credit for the uh, agricultural workers for the Bank of National Development, but also through the uh, National um, Bank with guarantees from the Hacienda public. El de para para 
and we uh, established the price guarantee for basic uh, food stuff for the small producers and for the uh, uh, places that they uh, um, sell them to and the places that store them. Of the Diconza and Liconza of the new system for the security of nutrition for the Mexicans. Segalmex this year fixed a uh, uh, just price of purchase for corn and beans for rice and wheat that is used for uh, tortillas or not tortillas, for flour and for milk. This means an increase of of 35% for 2 million and small and medium uh, producers. And we are investing in the infrastructure of agricultural, um, industrial um, things. They are in the process of executing uh, lakes and channels for uh, irrigation from Jalisco, Nuevo León, Sonora, Michoacán, Nayarit, Sinaloa, among others. So the, the program for um, credit based on your word benefits 65 Wait, 6,500 producers. And it has been initiated already. The planting of 1 million hectares of trees for fruit and uh, wood in the southeast. The importance of this transforming act is truly fundamental. With it, we have created 230,000 jobs that are permanent in the course of this year. So we've gained to, to for the uh, young workers so they're tempering the migration uh, phenomenon by giving jobs to these young people. And they produce wood fruits and other foods and they rehabilitate the jungles and the forests they rescue and protect the flora and the uh, native fawn in, in all we're planting life the same as the name that we gave it. We're, preven we're preventing the 
abuse of an overconsumption of the aqueducts. Mediante el impulso al crecimiento poblacional en el sureste. By encouraging the population to grow in the southeast. Que es donde se cuenta con cerca del 70% del agua del país. Where we get about 70% of the water in the country. Reconvertiendo también cultivos. And they in turn will uh, recreate cultivating. Por otros que requieren menor consumo de agua. By others that require less consumption of water. E impulsando la tecnificación y el revestimiento del and they will encourage the um, redressing of, of the existing infrastructure de riego para mejor for the uh, irrigation to, to benefit better from los recursos hidráulicos. of the hydraulic resources. We are encouraging a criteria for subs uh, sustainability La for the uh, uh, fishing activities y la and aquacultures. Este plan con el apoyo this plan was initiated with the support of to fishermen by the simpli simplification de trámites of con la obtención de with um, the, uh, I guess, the business work Permisos and permits de pesca for fishing con reglas claras de conservación with clear laws for conservation de especies of species y con ayuda Economica directa and with direct economical assistance pescadores. to the fishermen. Suma, In summation, el campo del al que fue and we are rescuing the fields from the abandonment which it had been condemned to Por la by the neoliberal politics. Y una vez que se más crecimiento económico, and once we have gained more economic growth, se las públicas, when we have bettered the f public uh, public finances, se dará un apoyo aún mayor a we, los we will give support to the ones with more nationales, nationally subsidios, via subsidiaries and credits para la es decir, so that we can gain our um, what is it uh, foodstuff sovereignty para dejar de en el lo so we can stop buying from foreign countries lo que what we consume Como as a complement Como complemento al fortalecimiento de la economía popular. So as a complement to the popular economy. Estamos entregando créditos a la palabra con el programa Tandas para el Bienestar. And we are uh, giving uh, money on the word by the program Rose for um, well-being. Hasta el día de hoy as se han otorgado... As of today, we have uh, given or granted 344,000 credits. 344,000 credits. Sin interests. Interest free. Sin without paperwork. A pequeños comerciantes. 
to small business owners, businessmen, artisans, and even to those who make their living however they can in the so-called informal economy. En los municipios de Oaxaca, la construcción de caminos de concreto. And in the community of Oaxaca, they're advancing in the creation of roads made out of concrete. 45 de ellos, 45 of them, están en proceso. Are in process. Y el año próximo se abrirán. And by next year, we will open. 50 frentes más. 50 more fronts. Nosotros entregamos los recursos a las autoridades. We give the money to the authorities. De usos y costumbres. Of uses and customs. Ellos manejan con honestidad el presupuesto. And they manage with honesty the budget. Y se da empleo a mujeres y hombres de los mismos pueblos. And we give jobs to the men and women of the same towns. Con estas pequeñas pero importantes obras, with these small but very important works, se aminora la migración, we decrease the migration, y se fortalece la vida familiar, and we increase family life, y comunitario, and communitary. Debe reconocerse, it should be acknowledged, que un factor principal, that a primary um, factor or principal factor is truly very important for the, the strengthening of the economy that is promoted from the bottom up for the people and by the people has been the um, money sent by our heroes, Vivientes. our living heroes, Los migrantes mexicanos. the Mexican migrants, en los seis meses de este año, that within the six, first six months of this year, remesas, sent us remissions a sus familiares, to their family members. To the tune of sixteen thousand eight hundred and forty-five million dollars. El monto más alto the highest amount que se ha registrado that has been registered in all the history of our country. Remesas the remissions are the principal uh, de fountain of money for sí, Mexico. Yes, here I Un can move that. And I say thank you to our migrants. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm so sleepy. As to the projects that were uh, encouraged by the government for regional, I say here that with a strict um, criterion we have uh, encouraged the uh, studies of <coughs> basic engineering of the train Maya. It'll be done by the 13th of December. <coughs> this year, in order to finish it, that will be for this important work that will benefit the areas of Quintana Roo, Chiapas, and I already forgot the other two. 
And as to the uh, situation with the uh, earthquake in Temeltepec, we're working on the amplification of the port of Salina Cruz. And we will do the same with the one in Coatzacoalcos. And we will also uh, initiate the mobilization of the trains uh, with freight. Que conectará las costas del Oceano Pacífico. That will connect the coast between the Pacific Ocean con el Golfo de with the Gulf of Mexico. Se ha a cabo la a we, have, las we have done the consult with the communities para su e al for their uh, acceptance and integration into the project. Y se están sus de and we are attending to their demands. There is support from the communities. We are not doing against anything against the will of the citizens. It is all with their agreement. Let us keep in mind that this that this very thin margin of 230 kilometers of our that, that is better than or has is more advantageous than the Panama Canal the, there we will be able to dispose of gasoline and diesel from the refineries of Salina Cruz and Menititlan. They will be using the existing ducts from Pemex to transport diesel and gas um, fuels. We can count on sufficient electric energy. We will decrease the taxes and the price of energy um, producing things. Para propiciar la instalación de parques industriales que to encourage the propagation of industrial parks that will generate enough jobs y and good salaries. Nos llevó algún los it took us some time to cancel the commitments en la that were Con, uh, that were gained in the last administration Para la del en el lago de for the uh, plane uh, wait a minute I'm going to have to redo that little bit there I already lost it in my head en el Istmo, una zona libre o franca se reducirán los impuestos y el precio de los energéticos para propiciar la instalación de parques industriales que generen suficientes empleos y buenos salarios. Nos llevó algún tiempo cancelar los compromisos contraídos en la pasada administración para la construcción del aeropuerto en el lago de Texcoco. So it was very difficult to be able to um, surpass all the stumbling blocks that the previous government and uh, people with interests tried to give us to prevent us from uh, uh, building the, the airport that was going to be in Texcoco. 
But fortunately, all the bonuses were liquidated and all the pending contracts with the uh, um, lakes or companies. We finished com uh, with the commitment de que no íbamos a quedar a deber absolutamente nada. That we were not going to wind up owing absolutely anything. En cuanto a esta obra inicial. When it dealt with that work that was initiated. Aún con el costo que implicó abandonar este proyecto. But even with the... But even with the cost that it meant to abandon this project, I believe it was the best decision. And I mention a couple of reasons. At that site in the lake of Texcoco, the terminal area would have been condemned to suffer the uh, the um, flying creatures uh, I can't think of the word for flying creatures were condemned to suffer de constantes hundimientos. and they were going to be constantly going under Se evitó la destrucción. we prevented the destruction del lago Nabor Carrillo. Of the lake Nabor Carrillo. Asiento de aves migratorias. Which was a place for migratory birds. Vamos a resolver la saturación del actual aeropuerto. We are going to resolve the saturation of the actual airport. En tres años. Within three years. Será menos tiempo. It will be less time. Que el que nos habría tomado concluir la obra de Tesco than what it would have taken us to finish the works in Texcoco. It will be a long-term solution de mejor calidad, of better quality sin corrupción, without corruption y con un ahorro, and with a savings de más de 100, de pesos, of more than 100 million pesos para el for the people of Mexico. Con este propósito, With this purpose, estamos avanzando en la creación del sistema we are advancing with the creation of the system of air, portuario, of airport, de la ciudad de México, que incluye, of the city of Mexico, which includes la rehabilitación del actual aeropuerto Benito of the rehabilitation of the actual airport Benito Juarez. Juarez. And we've already initiated it. Con estas obras de rehabilitación With these works of rehabilitation del actual aeropuerto. of the actual airport. También also, se va a we are going to utilize a plenitud el aeropuerto de Toluca, the to it the to its plentitude the airport of Toluca Estamos en un proceso de negociación and we are in the process of negotiation para que pase a formar parte de manera mayoritaria. so that it can pass in a majority way del gobierno federal to the federal government. Y, al mismo tiempo, and at the same time, se va a el nuevo we will construct the new General, General Airport, Felipe Angeles, Felipe Angeles lo que es hoy la base aérea de Santa Lucia. which is now the Santa Lucia Air Force Base. Desde enero pasado, as of last January, Se inició el programa de la zona libre franca. we initiated the uh, 
plan for the free zone. A lo largo de los 3,180 kilómetros de frontera con Estados Unidos. To the um, whole um, borderline between the United States of 3,100 kilometers. Franca, se redujo el impuesto sobre la renta. We reduced the uh, taxes on the rents a there. El IVA pasó to 20%. Del 16 al 8%. And IVA went from 16 to 8%. Combustibles se abarataron. And they lowered the price to combustibles. Se aumentó al doble el salario mínimo. And this minimum salary or wage was raised to double. Se creó la empresa telecomunicaciones e internet para todos. And we uh, developed a, a telecommunications and internet company for everyone. Filial de la Comisión Federal de Electricidad. Y se obtuvo ya la concesión para ofrecer and, servicio de... And we obtained the concession to uh, give services to... Internet sin fines de lucro. Without financial gain. En todo el país. Throughout the whole country. El mes próximo, and in the next month, los para por este medio, we'll begin the work in order to communicate via this media a 13, de of 13,500 um, places of service y a 166, to 166,000 communities and towns that have been margined off, or margined off del país. from the country. Es un orgullo también. It is a prideful thing also. Es un orgullo informal an informal uh, pride que por primera vez en 14 años, that for the first time in 14 years detuvimos la caída progresiva we halted the progressive decline en la producción de petróleo. in the production of petroleum les recuerdo I remind you que en 2004, that in the year 2004 se llegó a we had at that time produced 3,400,000 barrels. Y desde entonces, and since that time hasta diciembre to December año, of last year año con año, each year Every 14, for 14 years, it was declining up until the point of 1,670,000. Of three, from 3 million in 14 years, it went down to 1,670,000 barrels a day. And last year, we lost 200,000 barrels. The production came from 1,900 to 1,700,000 barrels daily. And that is why it is a prideful thing to be able to say that in nine months we've been in government, we haven't lost production due to the contrary. We maintained and stabilized the production of petroleum. And in December, we'll count on 50,000 burials uh, additionally, and we'll start the recovery in the production of uh, government. And this is an advance, advantageous advance. 
And we're also rehabilitating the six refineries of the country. And in these plants, we've increased from 32% to 42% of its capacity. So in that same way, we've solicited and we've gotten contracts for the companies a la conservación de infraestructura y a la terminación de obras en proceso, la inversión para la construcción y el mejoramiento de carreteras y caminos rurales es de 42.500 millones de pesos. Uy. A este momento, ah. Uy. 20.000 nah. oh my gosh, eh, millones we have, de pesos. We have 22 million pesos of the millones. 20 million are destined to the conservation of the web of roads to the country, That something that has never happened. And we concluded also the construction of the tunnel from the Orient that took more than 10 years to finish, that meant an investment of 32 million 189,000 pesos. And with this work, we will prevent uh, floods in a great part of Mexico. And it will also end this year the, the uh, train from uh, Guadalajara. And it'll continue Toluca City of Mexico. The participation of the in private initiative is necessary and indispensable, and it's a reality. I inform you that the Federal Commission of Electricity came to an agreement with the companies from other countries. We've reduced the tariff and we obtained and we've saved 4,500,000 4, million for the electrician, electrical company. And we've prevented the um, uh, okay, so that, that was regarding the, the gas uh, ducts, and they came to an agreement with them, and they prevented the international um, uh, tribunal that they were going to be going to to try and come to an agreement regarding that, um, the contracts that were already made by the previous governments that were not beneficial to the country. And they accepted, thank, thanks to those companies that accepted the principle that the interest of the nation needs to be above the interest of the private interests. No matter how legitimate this one is. We are public servants. We are professionals, commercial uh, businessmen. But above all, we are Mexican. I appreciate the cooperation of Carlos Slim, the president of the the Businessmen's Association, and the determination of Carlos Salazar and Antonio de Valle. They were the representatives of the Council of the Mexican Business. And in that same way, I give you the 
pos position firmly and positively of Mar Manuel Bartlett. With this arrangement that we guarantee for the next 20 years that we will have enough gas, primary for the, for the energy and for the development of Mexico. And regarding the foreign investment, we're doing well. In the first six months of this year, we've captured 80,000 80,000 million in is the greatest amount history in history in the commercial uh, a circumstance that happened in the US that was very special we want that problem to be resolved as soon as possible for the tranquility of all for the stability economical and financial in the world we consider, and that is a prediction, that the Congress of the, the state of the United States will approve the new commercial treaty. And in that way, we can strengthen even more the economy of our country and America, of North America. And in the second trimester of the year, the country obtained $553 million. So that's the, oh, as far as the most people that showed up to pay their taxes. And in July, the exportations came to more than $39,000 million an increase of relations in the same period and with the same month as last year, 7%. And for me, the political economy means also to maintain uh, equal, healthy um, financial works, public works. That is to say, not to waste or spend more than what comes in to the to the government. So they say that we're going to have a one percent growth of a national gross product. I inform you in a punctual way that we have not raised the prices of taxes in real terms and that we have not created the debt has not grown nor will it grow and we are sending the budget and we're sending the the budget uh, to Congress, and we have till the 8th of August, I'm sorry, of this month, and we're projecting that it, that we will not increase the public debt. And in July, the administration was, okay, you guys, I'm going to have to stop it here because I'm falling asleep. And um, that is unfortunate because it's still live, isn't it? <laughs> oh my gosh, I guess I better get going. We have not gained, erased the prices of gasoline in real terms, diesel, gas, or electricity. During the time we've been in government, the peso has resisted high pressures as to the circumstances which I alluded reference earlier and we've had it has maintained stable in relation to the dollar 
while other monies or currencies in the country have depreciated. In the December of 2018 to July of 2019, the national reserves have grown 54 million dollars. Uh, and in uh, July, confidence was 54 uh, points, which had not been reached within more than 10 years. In the same time, the companies reported an increase of 1.2 percent in sales in relation to the same months the year before. The purse of values has maintained stable in the time that we've been in government. It has gained 2 percent. We have finances that are public, that are well. The economy is growing slowly. It's true. But we're not in a recession. And besides that, now it's less unjust the distribution of and there's more development and more well-being and the objective that is most important for this government in the fourth transformation is that in 2024 we have a better society that the population be in a better in a better state of well-being due to conviction and humanism that for the good of all first, first the poor to be a just society only with a just society will we be able to grow our country the country will not be viable if poverty and inequality continue. It's an imperative that's ethical, but without justice, there is no guarantee of security or tranquility or social peace. We need to leave hypocrisy and uh, neoliberal hypocrisy that the state needs to temper the inequalities of society. It's not possible to continue the same injustices with the obligations of the government. We need to cl play clean and to use the state to defend, well, not to, and to not uh, benefit uh, private interests when it means the degradation of the public. It is not ethical, it's illicit to defend and it's not right to use the money of the people to save institutions that are broke. And to consider that a um, weight and expense when you're trying to consider the situation of the most impoverished. And those that have been out of favor. And I am forming you to uh, finish this up. In the first seven months of this year, according to IMSS, more than 300,000 new jobs and not considering the ones that were generated by the the ones that were created by the, the creating of jobs, trees, youth, and all the people that are uh, planting their lands. The program for youth creating uh, the future are as apprentices, we have 900,000, 30,000 uh, youth that, are, that before were discriminated and treated as neither work nor will they. 
neither do they study nor they work. And that's how some still continue to describe them, even up to recently, in, in a way that was um, not. In 2021, no young person will be out of either study or work, never again, will we leave or turn our backs on the youth, or we condemn them to the margination and forget being forgotten. The minimum salary increased 16%, like never before in 36 years of the neoliberalism period. And according to the Mexican uh, Institute of Social Security in July, the median of salary that was obtained by the affiliates was 11500 a month, the quantity that is highest ever registered in history of our country. Eight million adults, older adults, 94% did total, are received their pension of 200,500. <laughs> People with uh, disabilities are getting 250000 a month, vice menstrual. This benefits the, the, the poor of the country that are disabled. Pretty soon we'll have a million beneficiaries. We have 200,023,000 boy, boys and girls that are in the, um, in the primary schools, and they get their 1,600 by menstrual. Six million students of preschool and secondary school are receiving grants of 1,600 by menstrual. We are giving grants to all the students of middle superior education of the country, public schools. As of today, they've received this benefit, 3,500,000 students. And they also receive grants of 2,400 monthly, 300,000 students, university level of poor families. In the total, they're receiving grants in the all levels of school, 10,990,000 students, which means an investment of, in the year of 60,000 million pesos, something never before seen in the history of Mexico. Well, the resources that the government delivers in the social programs get to the people directly, to the beneficiaries. And in that way, we prevent intermediaries that where they, where they take a cut and corruption. We've canceled the poorly called um, educational reform where they were abusing teachers, and now we're having a, the new school cycle. We started a program, School is Ours, which means we give the budget for the construction and reparation of schools and maintenance of public schools to the committees of private uh, public um, people that are actually working there. They have to have kids in each area. It will be done in a direct manner in this program. And we will give the support without intermediary. Everyone will be getting their money from the treasury to the federal, all the way to the school. 
with the purpose of this weekend. We're celebrating 26,000 assemblies of um, parents and families for the formation of committees. And we need to govern between all of us. The, this is a government for the people, by the people, and for the people. The purpose is that the money not go with cuts through many hands, because each time they go through agencies, associations, and non-governmental agencies, but let it go directly to the beneficiary. That's a recommendation from the people. They used to tell me, if you get your position to be a, pos a public servant, that whatever you send us for help, don't send it through the government, because they steal it. It's better if you give it to us directly, and that's what I'm doing. And we've opened a hundred public universities that are free in uh, Benito Juarez for the areas that are marginal. Now we've got 39,000, students, and there's working 115 uh, teachers in schools. We're, we are. We are uh, using the strategy for recovering the memory of historical things to encourage le uh, reading. And the uh, Fund for Cultural Education has dictated They've got um, three books with some great writers. And it's 40,000 for each book. So we got 900,000 exemplary or example books or sample books. And these books are sold at accessible prices, like nine pesos, which is 50 cents, to 20 pesos, which is like five cents. Or no, I'm sorry, a dollar. And we also made, uh, printed 8 million, 500 samples of the moral card that was written by Alfonso Reyes because not only by man does man live by bread alone we need to strengthen cultural values and spiritual ones well-being that's good and they're going to give 900,000 students additional books. And they created the Institute for National Institute. Oh my gosh. We'll guarantee them guaranteed health for the whole population with priority for those that do not have social security. The National Institute for Security is starting to resolve four basic demands, that there be enough of all the medications, even in the communities that are in the outskirts of the country. And we've commented over this that if the that if they can get um, that if they can get junk food and they distribute throughout the national territory, 
it would be unjustifiable that they would not be able to do the same with medications. We have to have a good mechanism of distribution of medications, that there be enough and that they get distributed. And another pending thing is the assignation of the doctors and nurses and to amplify the infrastructure of nursing and health and for uh, teams of medics and classification of <coughs> several thousands of that have been con contracted and we're going to be doing it little by little and we'll be doing it during the six years. We're going to be making the, all the people for health, working in health, be happy. And they will have a increase of 40 million pesos in order to finance the actions that are destined to better attention, medical attention, and to in, uh, guarantee the free medications. And the people that represented us in the para, in the Pan American Games in Lima, Peru, from the they've gotten 136 uh, medals, 36, um, 63 bronze. It's the greatest number of uh, medals that have been gained outside. And they've given economical support for a year. They've given them all of it so that they can, within a year, count on support and continue to train. The same we will do with the sports of the sportsmen that are now in Peru from the Pan American Games. That as of now, the Paralympics have gained and they haven't even finished. They got 55 gold medals which is a historical record. Fifty-eight of silver and forty-six bronze. A hundred and fifty-eight in total. And we are going to be giving them their support. Same as all the other sportsmen when they come back. We'll give it to them, their support. The resources that are given to sports people in the poorest places in Mexico are being obtained from the sale of goods that are captured from delinquency and of white collar crime. They are being sold in auctions, jewels, residences, uh, boats, planes, and numbers, dollars, that are given to them. They're given to the poorest communities, and they will be given by the institute called, that was created, the Institute to Return to the People That Which Was Stolen. Impresor, the business owner Bremer who acquired one of the uh, residences and that money was given to the sports people. I don't know if we invited him, or we didn't even invite him, but anyway, he'll find out that we recognized him and the other 
uh, foundations and businessmen that are helping us with this purpose. The opening of the Los Pinos has been an exit, has been exciting, uh, and have been elaborating it to convert it, this space in coordination with the government, national government, will be converted in It'll be converted into an artist extension. It will be the largest and most important cultural areas of the world. Islas Marias have been closed up, and they're converting that into an education center which corresponds to the Secretary of um, Environment and our appreciation for the custodian that has to do with the islands so that they're not being destroyed and they're being conserved. And thank you for the Secretary of Marines for their support and the custody and protection of the islas of Mexico. And we created the Institute, National Institute for the Indigenous People. The programs of benefits are, are being, out of every 10 in Mexico, home, five already have supports, about half of them in general. But in indigenous, out of every 10, there's already getting support, nine homes. And by the end of the year, it should be all 10 of all the communities that are indigenous in Mexico. The betterment of uh, touristic areas has been supported, has gone to 70 uh, have supported 7,000 families with, and they're introducing uh, drainage, pavement, and other services for 14 cities of the country. And for the uh, help for people that were needed support, for people that lost their homes in the um, earthquake, they've made 10,800 homes and the restoration of churches, temples, and other spaces that form part of the historical national patrimony. And Imponabit has restructured 49,000 benefit for people that were paying and paying, and their debts were growing instead of being lowered. And besides this program that is permanent, it was agreed that those who have paid more than or 90% of their credit, they will forgive the rest, and they will get their titles. And in the same way, we've done that commitment that no one will be t thrown out of their home. It was approved, the creation for the Bank of Well-Being that will have branches even in the communities that are most rural of the country. And the Executive Federal has started a change in paradigm in safety and security of 2006 to 2008. They pretended to resolve security by violence, by of actions of force and military and police. The result was catastrophic. And that strategy left a very high number of dead, disappeared in a crisis of human rights and an institutional dis decomposition without precedent and grave uh, damage to the social fabric. And we're still suffering from insecurity and violence. And I consider that due to the bad strategy 
that was applied. They decided to measure to, to change the uh, jobs of the um, military to a, a job of um, protection of the people. And I repeat, better conditions for life in which they work to attend to the causes of violence. The principal thing that there be jobs, good salaries, well-being, and they guaranteed the poor people the right to education and work. And in all of this, we're acting. And we're also being occupied with the generation of institutions in society. And I'm also informing you that we have a coordinated material for public security. The cabinet is headed by the President of the Republic. And it meets daily from Monday to Friday from 6 to 7 in the morning here in the National Palace. And in the Cabinet of Security that meets every day here in the Palace, they participate, the Secretaries of uh, security and government of Marines and defense. And we convoke with regularly other public servants. In this model, it replicates in states and regional area with the participation of representatives of the government and ex executives of the states. And I appreciate the coordination and the great support of the governors of all the states of the Republic. We do not have differences in this matter. We are working unitedly, the governments and the state and the federal. We do not have motives for, especially when it has to do with guaranteeing the security of the people. Thank you to the citizens and the governors and the governor of and chief of government of the city of Mexico. As of now, because we created the National Guard, we have distributed 58,600 elements of this new institution, which acts in 150 coordinations of territories of the country, even though the the uh, goal is to get to, to 206 coordinations in all the regions of Mexico. And I add that the new stra strategy consists also of not tolerating torturing of any other type of violence to the rights of humans. And we're dedicating resources and to find lost people that are lost to violence, if we will not rest, and we are working every day, and we are doing everything that is humanly possible in order to know what was the ending of the 40-some uh, children from uh, students from Yosinapa, and we're still looking and we're giving protection to and we're giving protection to uh, newspaper people that were threatened defenders of human rights they have protection special protection 337 uh, newspaper and 639 human rights protectors and we also have placed in liberty 45 prisoners, political prisoners. 
and they've been doing the preparation for to try to rescue the uh, people that were in the mine in Kawila. And they've already um, united uh, experts from Mexico and foreign countries, and they've diagnosed, and they are. it's favorable that they will be able to realize the action to pull out the bodies soon, the work of rescuing the bodies of the miners. Neither the Marines uh, are not going to be used to 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 hurt the people. There's no more extermination against delinquency uh, or organized crime. We will not permit uh, raids or uh, uh, massacres. Nor will we permit the disappearance of people. The state has stopped being the principal violator of human rights. I want to show my grateful that the support and the loyalty of the armed forces that have accented the, the job of uh, protecting people without violating human rights and using the, the regulated force use. And this applies very well because if we know history, we know that our uh, army it's a um, army that is from the people. The Marines and the soldiers are people that have uniforms on. They're the people themselves. What are the soldiers? What are the Marines? It's the people that is taking care of the people. That's what they are. The people are taking care of the people, and that is what the National Guard does. And I finish saying that even though we still have to work very hard because the results are not good regarding the, 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 regarding the uh, incidents of crime, and that the problem is being attended to, but it constitutes our principal problem. But I am a man that has goals, and I am perseverant. And I can say that I am sure that we will gain to make the country serene and peaceful. And that is the commitment. And we are gaining it with coordinated work of all the government, the way we're doing it now by closing ranks all together. And we are going to gain with something else that's very important, not permitting controversy of, uh, between uh, or fights between authority and uh, gangs. Zero impunity. We separate, we put a line at the boundary. One side is delinquency and one side is authority. There's no mixing of uh, delinquency with authority. If you get involved to protect delinquents, you will go to jail without rights to any fine. Uh, any um, bonds. There is no more influentialism. We will be able to get tranquility and overall with actions guided by the principle that peace is fruit of justice. And now I'm ending it. I tried to do a synthesis, but it's complicated. But now, I'm getting at the end. 
and my friends, Mexicans. It's more that it's a lot that we've gained, that we've tried to do justice, legality, and uh, democracy. And what was gained in about nine months would be enough to show that we are not living in a simple change of government, but a change of regimen. And this has not been nor ha has ever been any of the same. On the contrary, it is in the authentic regeneration of the public life of Mexico. And I confess that I have counted with some luck. Machiavelli used to say that politics is virtue and fortune, and I've been lucky. And this time, we've had good wins, and we are taking into practice a transformation that's profound with very little confrontation and without violence, political violence. There doesn't stop to exist, nor do we want them to end these protests that are legitimate of, from the citizens, nor do we exclaim from our, or the claims from our opposers, and even those that oppose every real change, and they're nervous, or they're out of sorts, but they have not been able to constitute, and we celebrate this knock on wood, <laughs> in order to so that they not be able to create a group or a faction with the force of the reactionaries of other times. Besides that, and I say it respectfully, I don't want it to be taken as a uh, act of prepotence, but I'm just saying that I'm perceiving that they are morally destroyed. President Juarez used to say, he used to have this phrase that the use of the reaction is, is morally impossible. So they are morally destroyed because they haven't had the opportunity to create a parallel between the old, because due to their, um, the most embarrassing epics of our history in Mexico. If we continue to act in an ethical way and apply moral and public life, nothing will be able to destroy the application of the principles of supreme, of the sovereignty of the people, and national interests will be imposed for the people that are seduced by false love of of what is material and shiny. And fortunately, while there's those that are are disconcerted, the majority of the people are happy with the transformation and they're happy. And they're happy, happy, happy. The businessmen are cooperating with a great commitment socially, and they have invested. They create jobs. They accept reasonable utilities, and they pay their contributions. All of this may gives me optimism, but without slowing down my step because power is humility and duty, and I have, do not have the right to fail. And besides that, this I share with you and with millions of Mexicans. It's a great gift in these times, to live in these times, to serve 
Mexico. And let Mexico live. All right. Wow. That was long <laughs> and good and true. Very impressive. Um, I know I know that um, uh, a lot of people don't know what's going on in Mexico, but that's just to show you what's happening right now, um, what he's accomplished so far. And I don't know if he was able to say everything because there was so much, so much that's been going on. I would say 180 days worth had multiple things. Anyway, I have got to go to sleep because I am so tired. Have a great day. Bye, everybody.